if the Rams are willing to take on the salary I heard that they're willing to do. So uh, they are definitely open to trading Cooper Cup. So we'll see if they'll be able to get a deal done. I just don't think Kansas City has even enough money, even if the Rams were to take on some of that salary. Uh, that's been the problem and the reason why they haven't be, been able to go after a Devontae Adams, uh, an, an Amari Cooper, like we've seen other teams be aggressive with. Diana Rossini, NFL insider for The Athletic. She's tapped in. She was on the Levitard show. Cooper Cup available. And it sounds like he's being shopped. Not, hey, Les Sneed, is it? Yes. Hey, Les, is that Cooper guy available? Sounds like Les is calling around. Hey, this Cooper guy's available. Of course the Steelers are interested. Absolutely. Omar Khan and Sneed have had a conversation. I don't know that, but it makes sense. Steelers go after Adams. Steelers go after Brandon Ayuk. Steelers interested in Mike Williams on a number of different occasions. The Steelers have been and probably are looking for wide receiver help. The question is, Doran, is he a fit? And the asking price right now, a second round pick, is he worth that? I, I, I'd, I'd like to know his contract, too. I don't know if you have the numbers there. It's really affordable. And they've said that, at least according to Diana Rossini, they'd be willing to pick up some of the, the tab on this. I think it's $9 million the rest of the year. And then I think he's due a $4 million signing bonus next season. And I think the cap hits somewhere in the $20, $25 million range. I'm going to pull that up. Well, if that is true, then Absolutely. He, he's a fit because he's Cooper Cup. Like he, people want to say, oh, well, he's a slot receiver. He's not a slot receiver. He's a receiver. He's a guy. And if you think that he's a slot receiver, then he can motion into the slot or he can motion out of the slot. He can, he can run routes on the outside. I mean, the guy is a high productive wide receiver. He's an absolute fit. He's a fit in anybody's offense. He's a really good wide receiver. He's been injured. I understand that. And I believe that his injury was a hamstring, something of that nature this year. Um, obviously you have to see if he's healthy, but, uh, a second round pick. Yes. I I think that the Steelers are desperate and they've have been desperate for months now for a number two or number one wide receiver. This would fill that void. This is almost uh, honestly the perfect compliment to George Pickens, the type of receiver Cooper cup is. He's not like George Pickens. Mike Williams is more like George Pickens than Cooper cup is. And you don't want two of the same guys. You want two different guys. And Cooper cup has just, he's played at a high level for a long time. He's won a Super Bowl. He's a guy that could come in here and not only have high production, if healthy, um, but he could really help that whole receiver core of understanding how to play wide receiver better, especially George Pickens. I, I think that if you're serious about urgency, as Art too talked after the season, this is an urgent move. As you said, Crowley, they've been in the market for a, a receiver for months. Ayuk. Devontae Adams. Now Cooper Cup becomes available. I think this is an absolute must, and I would give up a second for it. Ooh. This, can you picture what Russ did Sunday night? And Russ is just trying to build his foundation right now. He hasn't played football in a long time, and he did what he did Sunday night. 264 yards, two touchdowns. Think about giving him a volume. Yes. A high, high volume wide receiver. And George Pickens in this offense. Now you're cooking. Now you're cooking. I don't care what anybody has to say. This would be a, this would be a huge move by the Pittsburgh Steelers, and then they would be in the conversation, in my mind, of being a legit contender. Well, we've talked about that. Where are the Steelers in the pecking order of the AFC? Well, defensively, they're one of the best teams in the league, if not the best defense in the NFL. And people are going to say, well, what about the Dallas game? What about the Indy game? Okay, that's legit. They had some coverage breakdowns, which is, you know, I'd rather it be that than we're not good on the back end. Mm-hmm. They had coverage breakdowns. We didn't see it against Aaron Rodgers. They had some trouble tackling early, but in the second half, the defense has been excellent all year long, and it was excellent again. Their defense is, yeah, it's the best in the league. And the best defense in the league looks different now than it did in 2008. I think people need to get that in their mind. So that side of the ball, I think, is Super Bowl caliber. You look at the best offenses in football, and you look at the Lions, and you look at the Ravens, and probably I should reverse that. And I think about what Buffalo can do when they're clicking on all cylinders. And the Chiefs really haven't got there. I don't know that Cooper Cup takes the Steelers to that level. But because your defense is so good, you don't need to be the best offense in the league. 
you need to, in a one-game scenario against a team, let's say like Buffalo, you need to keep them from hitting 30, and you need to get as close to 30 as you can. This guy would help you do that. Mm -hmm. I think he would put them legitimately in the conversation to be one of the best teams in the AFC. And that's what it's all about. What are you missing? You're missing a wide receiver. You now have a quarterback that you feel confident can get wide receivers the football. Van Jefferson caught a touchdown. Calvin Austin had a big play. And I understand the whole slot receiver thing. I do. So I did some digging here. Calvin Austin plays 34 snaps on average a game. George Pickens plays 49 snaps on average a game. Why? Because the Steelers don't run a lot of three wide receiver sets. Right. But then you ask yourself, can Amari Cooper play 15 snaps outside the numbers a game? Yeah. He's not a small guy. He's listed at 6'2", 207. He's a great slot receiver, but he's not, and people want to do this because the white guy thing, he's not Wes Welker. He's not Julian Edelman. This is a big guy in the slot. He He's like somewhere between a tight end and a slot, a, a regular traditional slot receiver. So, yeah, you could play him outside from time yes. to time. Of course you can. Why? Because he's good. My concern has a lot more to do with the injury history with him. He's played... 23 out of a possible 41 games the last three seasons and change. That's why I wouldn't give up a second-round pick for him. I would wait it out. Mm -hmm. Devontae Adams, the ask, was a second-round pick and dot, 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 and you wind up getting a conditional third. I'd offer a fourth with potential for that fourth to be a third, and that would be my offer, and then you see where it goes from there. Mm -hmm. A second-round pick's a lot for me to give up for a guy that I think at any moment, he's just not available to you. I, I And I also would look at it this. you got Roman Wilson in the third round, and he's probably not going to play this year. Yes. So next year, you're probably going to draft a receiver maybe in the second round. Like, it's a 50-50 crapshoot, in my opinion. Like, could that guy be a Roman Wilson, or could he be a high-productive receiver for you next year? I, I, you're, you're guessing. And then you're hoping with Cooper Cup that he could just stay healthy, because if he does stay healthy, you already have it on paper that he could be a high-productive receiver. So if it came down to it and I was very desperate and if I was the Pittsburgh Steelers and looking at my situation, like, yeah, like I would, I would throw back Hey, okay, a fourth round pick. But at the end of the day, if it, if we can't move off of that, like I'm willing to give a sec, I'd be willing to give a second round pick because that's what I'm going to use probably next year for wide receiver. And I don't know if that guy is going to even pan out. So I don't, I like we're, we're, this is such a merry go round <laughs> for months and months of receiver. It receiver. is. And they've also kind of told us through roster moves this offseason and then in Russell Wilson starting the other night, they're not really thinking all that much about the future. No. If if at all. If you're thinking about the future, then the 25-year-old quarterback who's 4-2 and two would start every game the rest of the way. Yes. Because you feel like you can win with him and you would let him get better and you would see what you have. But they think Russell Wilson gives them a better chance to win a playoff game. Based on what we saw Sunday night, I tend to agree with them on that. That's their focus. So I say, out of one side of my mouth, I ain't giving up a second-round pick for a guy who's played 23 games out of a possible 41. But do they view it that way? Or are they going to pay the price now, knowing they've swung and missed, swung and missed, swung and missed on wide receivers until this point, and damn it, we're just going to pay the price to get it done? Mm-hmm. So let's throw it out there. 4129289370, fan hotline presented by Sullivan Super Service, Pittsburgh trusted plumbing and HVAC provider for over 50 years. Are the Steelers a Cooper Cup away from being a legitimate contender in the AFC?